the SDP first announced that, the, that we were coming to Sembawang GRC to contest the elections. We told you, we told you that, the, that we wanted to take Minister of Health, Mr. Corbyn Wan, to task. We told you that we wanted to question him about how he handled the NKF policy. And that's why Mr. Lee Kuan Yew and his son, they got very frightened. And so, engineered a lawsuit against the CC members. And now, today, this matter is before the courts. And be because it is before the courts, it is considered sub -judice. And Therefore, we cannot speak about the matter. I understand. Thank you. I understand the press. We don't blame you. Thank you very much. Voters and those of you who have come from Bukit Panjang to hear Mr. Ling and ourselves. Tomorrow, tomorrow you go to the polls. Tomorrow, you're going to have to decide, decide your future, your family's future, decide and your children's future. SDP. Tomorrow, SDP. when you go to the polls, decide you have to decide whether you want the PAP to continue no. to make life miserable for you no or if you want the SDP to defend you. Tomorrow, when you go and cast your vote, you're going to decide whether you're going to allow Mr. Corbyn one no and his team to continue to bully Singaporeans no so that you, we live our lives in great financial stress so that our children so that our children are under great pressure under this education system so that the medical bills and the costs of living go up. No way! No way, man! Voters, yeah? if you go to the booth tomorrow, Lawrence. and if you Lawrence. vote for the PAP, no way, man. this is what you're telling them. Stupid! If you vote for the PAP, Stupid. you're telling them that you agree with the education system. No! That you agree, you tan tan, Tomorrow. If you vote them in tomorrow, you're sending a clear signal to the PAP to tell them it's okay to do what they like with our CPF money. It's okay to hold to our CPF money $100,000, $120,000 until we're 55 or 60, and then give us 200 each month. You are, you are telling them it's okay to do this to Singaporeans if you vote the PAP in tomorrow. You put a cross next to the PAP ballot paper tomorrow. You are telling them <laughs> that it's okay. That it's okay. That it costs us hundreds of thousands of thousands of dollars, even to half a million dollars. 
tomorrow, you vote for the PAP. No. You're telling them that it's all right for your GST to go up. No. It's okay for petrol prices to go up. No. It's all right for medical bills to go up. No. No. Not all right. You're telling them that while your ministers who are millionaires no. sit up there in their offices, no. they can watch. They can watch our anti selling tissue paper, cleaning toilets, and collecting trash to make a living. You vote for the SDP tomorrow. You are telling the PAP ministers and MPs that you are sick, you are tired of their poor and oppressive policies. Fire. You vote the SDP in tomorrow. Not hospital. You are telling the PAP and just telling Mr. Cole and his team that the SDP parliamentarians will speak up for you like they never will. For the SDP tomorrow. Yeah. You will tell the P you will tell the PAP. PAP <laughs> that you don't want them to bully us any longer. Yeah. You will tell the PAP. Go to hell. <laughs> we'll tell the PAP and the ministers that we do not want the lease to control Singapore and Singaporeans. 